On Yelp Street in Racine, you'll find the Veterans Outreach of Wisconsin. Behind it, you'll see a tiny town of even tinier homes, each of them built with a bigger purpose, to help struggling veterans get back on their feet. The first was constructed in 2017. Now, the village consists of 15 different homes. There's two different types. There's some with the lofts, and then there's ones that just have a bed on the ground. Zachary Zajorik is a veteran and the VOW's executive director, who says he could have used these resources when he got out of the Marine Corps. I was struggling like most vets to kind of reintegrate back into the world. And uh, I was hopping around different jobs. And then uh, once I got involved in the veteran community, arguably it saved my life. And there are so many veterans out there here in Racine alone. We have 13,000 in Southeast Wisconsin. We have about 50,000 veterans. One of those 50,000 is Randall Stromitz, a resident of a tiny home there. In 2019, my wife had died and uh, that mixed with the PTSD from Afghanistan and everything like that. It was like a whirlwind of emotions I could not handle. I gave up on everything. I, I lost my business, my house, um, ended up homeless. My dad is, he's a resident here, and he actually told me about the place, uh, and then I got a call from Mike and Zach, and I was a resident a week later. I was up from Illinois, and I wasn't homeless anymore, so it was a godsend, really. The grounds have a community center and food market. Inside the tiny homes, you'll find the basics, but most importantly, a safe place for veterans to lay their heads at night, a place to call home. I see myself in a lot of these vets that could use these resources, and uh, it's extremely you know, gratifying to see them kind of get back on their feet and succeed. Because when veterans come in here, a lot of times they're almost at rock bottom. The homes are sponsored by different organizations like Riley Construction, run by company president Ben Casso, who says they felt called to help. They basically have these tiny homes and some of them were in disrepair and I'm a construction company and have carpenters, masons, cement finishers, laborers. So I have these guys and there are our company is a company that wants to serve our communities. A community making this support possible in the first place. The house needed repairs. Within a week Riley stepped up and basically said we'll take care of it. And now they're here today and we have a veteran that's already lined up to move into this home. Veterans can stay in the tiny homes for up to two years. Some already feel hopeful about what they once thought was a grim future. Ever since I was little, I wanted, I wanted a family, you know, and this has given me a chance to be so level-headed that I can actually have that, hopefully one day. I have signed up for college. I'm going to college, going to utilize the GI Bill finally. And then um, they actually gave me a job here across the street, working in the warehouse. As donations come in, I organize them and put them on the shelves and everything like that. So it's, it's given me income and it's given me, you know, a base to like grow from. Acts of kindness serving as a reminder to reflect on the sacrifice of others. They've served at the highest level of anything you could serve for us and this is our part right I, I always say like I don't know how to give back more when these guys have already given so much. And once dark thoughts replaced by a foundation of light. For veterans out there no matter how dark it gets, there's always, there's always another, you know, a sunrise.